Hey, what's going on everyone? It's B. Avery here for another trailer reaction. This one is by Disney called Artemis Fowl. This is a teaser trailer. I have absolutely no clue, no idea what this teaser trailer is about, what the story is about, but we're going to check out this trailer. So let me go ahead and put on these headphones and you guys can stop listening to me talk and watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. Oh, the I... world has never been in more danger. Human greed is what drove us underground all those years ago. To escape from your rapacious appetite. Rapacious appetite. I warn you, boy. prepared for the truth behind what you seek now you will believe Artemis Fowl August 2019. Let me hear something again real quick because I was talking at the beginning of this trailer. Our world has never been in more danger. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> I have no idea what to expect from this. Never heard of this uh, property before. What is this based off of a book? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Where's my cursor? There it is. So I already had this pulled up on uh, IMDb. Um, trying to, what was up with that black dude with the white hair? And it looked, the lady looked like she turned, like she was a white lady, older lady that then turned into an Asian lady. Uh, at the end, it was a beautiful image, but I don't understand what's going on. So let me read this synopsis on IMDb. Artemis Fowl, the second, a young Irish criminal mastermind kidnaps the fairy leprechaun officer holly short for ransom to fund the search for his missing father this is the being directed by kenneth brana now i do know of kenneth brana he did cinderella which was a fantastic movie i think that came out in 2010 when did that come out he also did before i look he also did uh the movie that just came out last year that was a disappointment to most people uh the, the orient express he also did thor um, the first door, he's done a lot of stuff. Let me see if I was correct or wrong. Okay. You got a lot of, he's also an actor as well. Uh, he was also, did he, no, he didn't direct Dunkirk. That was Christopher Nolan, but he was in Dunkirk, right? Yeah, he was in Dunkirk. Yeah. Uh, let's see what he's directed. Uh, he's directed a lot of stuff. He has 22 credits. So, yeah, Murder on the Orient Express, uh, Cinderella. He did Jack Ryan's Shadow Recruit, uh, Macbeth, which was an absolute, I, th I think this is the film I'm talking about. Uh, Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. Or maybe, okay, it was one film that came out a number of, it, maybe it wasn't Macbeth. It was, I remember I was bored out of my freaking mind. Yeah, he did Thor. Um, so, yeah, the only thing I know him from is Thor. Uh, they came out in 2011. Uh, Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruiter, but I just forgot. Cinderella and uh, Murder on the Orient Ex o Murder on the Orient Express. I still can't say the Orient Express. So, you know, he has some talent behind him. He has some experience. Let me see if there's anybody in this movie that I know of. And, okay, Josh Gad is in this. Judy Dench. Of course, I know who Judy Dench is. Um... She was uh, M and all of the um, Manny Penny and all of like the James Bond movie, James Bond's movies. 
Let's see. Anybody else in this thing that I know? Not really. Uh, what is this based off of? Based on a young adult novel. Okay. Um, I mean, it. You know, it looks like it may have some interesting visuals. Uh, we're just gonna have to see. So Disney right now, they got a nice little slate coming up here next year. So they got Captain Marvel. I'm gonna write this down. We got Captain Marvel. That's in uh, March. And then we got Avengers 4, A4. That's in May or April. They move, move it up. Then we got The Lion King. That's in July. What else they got? I know they got a ton of stuff. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go over here real quick. They got like a, a whole... It, it's going to be one of the biggest um, box office um, years in a while. Uh, what's... Okay. What's in... What does Disney have in theaters right now, if anything? I know this kind of long-winded, kind of spaced out with my comments, but that's okay, guys. Y'all don't mind hanging out with me. Why can't I think of a Disney film right now? Okay, Incredibles 2. So that is Buena Vista. So let me look. I'm trying to think on IMDb how I can look at Buena Vista to see everything that they have coming out uh, next year. I know there's a, a easy way to do this. Okay, future releases. Okay. Okay. So, man, yeah, I forgot about okay, so we got I'm not even gonna count that. So we got Dumbo on um Yeah, Dumbo okay, Dumbo and Captain Marvel is in March. Okay, Penguins, these in nature, that's not gonna be no uh I mean I forgot Aladdin, damn. Got Aladdin in this thing. God, Toy Story 4? This is going to be crazy. I don't know how to spell Toy Story. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I, I wrote Dumbo twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six heavy hitters right there. These are six movies that... The only way these movies are not going to make money is if they're... like, Even if they suck, they're still going to make money. Dumbo, Captain Marvel, Avengers 4, The Lion King, Aladdin, and Toy Story 4. My goodness gracious. I don't know which one's going to make more money. I'm going to put my money on The Lion King and Avengers 4. Um, the Lion King potentially has enough uh, uh, clout to it to be a $2 billion film. Not a $1 billion film, $2 billion film. It's going to make it's gonna make $1 billion in its sleep. Do you know why? The reason why is because the original Lion King made uh, 900 something million. And that was in 1994, 24 years now. Next year, it'll be 25 years. So, yeah, let's look at this real quick. Worldwide, Lion King. I know you're in the top 30. If you're not in the top 30, you're at top 39. Not, okay, in 1994, Lion King made $968 million uh, worldwide. Okay. 25 years ago. If you adjust for inflation, that's probably what 1.2, 1.3 billion, something like that. That could be completely wrong. I was kind of guessing there. So with all the kids that saw, like when I saw the film, uh, I was 10 years old. So you know how old I am now. And so all of the children at that time are grown in their 30s and 40s, 50s, whatever. They're going to go see it. They're going to take their kids. Yeah, this, that Lion King easily has the chance of being a $2 billion film. Uh, unless uh, Avengers 4 is just trash, you know that's going to make $2 billion because Avengers Infinity War made $2 billion and this is going to be bigger than that. Man, this is going to be a box office. Re Whoosh, snap. I wish I had some. Oh, and then Star Wars. And then Frozen 2? Are you serious? Star Wars. I need to make a separate video uh, just for this. Frozen 2. I, I don't even give a crap about Frozen. But we all know that made a lot of money. Did I make a billion? Yeah, it made a billion. And then Artemis Fowl. So I'm going to put Artemis Fowl in the stinker category. Because uh, I don't I hate I don't hate the crap on Eva DuVernay with uh, A Wrinkle in Time. But damn, that movie lost so much damn money. At minimum, I think it had lost two hundred million dollars. Loss. Um, yeah. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me make sure one, because Mary Poppins comes out in December of this year. I mean, we can throw penguins in there. So, uh, God, this is gonna be a crazy year, man. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Disney got had Disney got Disney has ten full length features that they're gonna uh, be releasing next year. Eight of them are gonna be a box office success. It is pretty much a given. If I'm wrong, hey, let me know. But I doubt it. I'm not trying to sound cocky there. One of them I'm going to put in the autumn. I'm putting autumn style in the stinker category. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't know. It could be great, but I don't know nothing about it. And then penguins. I don't think that's going to lose the money, but I don't think they're going to be like, oh my god, penguins! But we got to get a sequel, three core. I don't. I don't think that's going to happen. But Dumbo, Captain Marvel, Avengers for the Lion King, Aladdin, Toy Story four. Artemis Files, Star, Star Wars, Episode 9. This is crazy, man. Oh, yeah, I'm making a separate video for this. I'm making a separate video for this. Now, I just want to check real quick when this stuff is spread apart. Okay, so Captain Marvel and Dumbo. Uh, this is supposed to be this video too damn. Yeah, let me. I, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Guys, that is just my opinion for the Artemis File teaser trailer. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Do you agree with me or you disagree? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also check me on social media. It's right at the bottom of the screen. And guys, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for the Artemis File trailer, teaser trailer. And before you go, don't forget uh, that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. Tune in to my next video. One of my next videos talking about all this Disney stuff. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.